Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel again. I am Gayan Fernando. And if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you are wish to uh, notify whenever I upload a new video, please hit the bell icon right next to the subscribe button. So, this uh, today's lesson is uh, the second part of uh, current electricity. So, if you watched my first video, in the first part we talked about uh, what is current electricity and definition for current electricity and then electric current density and finally the drift velocity. So today's uh, lesson, the content is uh, electric current resistance, electric current resistivity, uh, current conductivity and finally we are going to talk about uh, how to categorize materials based on electric current resistance and uh, the variation of resistance with respect to the temperature. What is electrical resistance? Elect uh, if uh, a current flows through a conducting material, uh, we talked uh, we talked before that the uh, frequent uh, most of the time. Uh, the current is formed due to flow of electrons. So, if electrons flow through a conductor, uh, there exist uh, so many collisions between electrons and electrons, electrons and atoms, ions, electrons and uh, nuclei, likewise. So, these collisions uh, is uh, dis continuously disturbing the electron flow. This disturbance is known as the electrical resistance. So, factors affected effects to the electrical resistance are uh, if we if we take a conducting uh, conductor like this. So, uh, its length is L. Uh, so, L will be a factor, and it the conductor's cross-sectional area A. Uh, the cross-sectional area will also uh, will be a factor and again the material which the conductor uh, is made out of uh, the material uh, so that will be uh, that will be a, a factor as well. And finally, uh, finally, uh, the temperature of the material, uh, the material's temperature uh, will also be a factor. So that's it. The, these are the factors: uh, uh, length, cross-sectional area, material, and temperature. So. <coughs> Uh, the the resistance is directly proportional to uh, its length. If we increase the conductor uh, conductor's length, uh, the electrons have to flow a lengthier part, a lengthy path. So the collisions will be higher. So the resistance will be higher. And also, if we increase the Cross sectional area, the resistance will be lower. So, there is an inverse relationship. Uh, if we increase the cross sectional area, there are the paths, uh, path is pretty much wider. So, the collisions will be lower, the resistance will be lower. So, if we uh, combine these, R directly proportional to L over A. So, if we create, uh, if we use the equation. So this is the equation. Uh, uh, if we analyze the, uh, uh, its physical quantities, R is electric electrical resistance with measured in ohms. L is the length, so measured in meters, and A is the uh, cross sectional area measured in square meters. So with these units, we have the uh, units for rho, which is known as uh, resistivity. 
uh, the units will be ohm meters. So, uh, as we talk uh, talk before, uh, there are four factors for electrical resistance: L, A. Where are the other two? The other two are temperature and the material. So these two factors are included in rho. So this rho will be uh, will be uh, based on the material, material and temperature. So rho uh, depends on material and temperature. So then uh, we are going to. Uh, uh, talk about uh, make a definition for rho. Uh, so if we take rho, rho is uh, R A divided by L from the uh, previous equation. So rho equals R A divided by L. So if we uh, need to make a definition for rho, uh, if we put a equals 1 and L equals 1 then rho equals R. To put A and L into 1 uh, simultaneously we can take a uh, conductor which is which uh, is a cube with uh, le uh, a length of 1 meter. So in this cube the A area is 1 square meter the length is 1 meter. So, then directly rho equals R. So, rho can be defined as uh, the electrical resistance between two uh, opposite phases of a cube having 1 meter length. Uh, then uh, the electrical resistance is directly equal to the electrical uh, resistivity at, this, at that temperature. So, that is about electrical resistivity. Now we are going to talk about electrical conductivity. Uh, electrical conductivity, which we symbolize by sigma, uh, is uh, simply the reciprocal of electrical resistivity. So sigma is 1 over rho, simple as that. So uh, we, uh, we talk before that rho is measured by ohm meters so hence we can uh, measure sigma by per ohm, per ohm per meter so we give a new unit for this per meter per ohm it is called as siemens denoted by capital s so electrical conductivity is measured using siemens uh, next uh, we are going to categorize uh, uh, matter uh, based on electrical conductivity. Uh, based on electrical conductivity, we can categorize uh, matter into three types, three categories. First is electrical conductors, uh, secondly electrical insulators and finally, uh, final category is electrical semiconductors. Electrical conductors are uh, the material which uh, conduct uh, which uh, conduct electric electric current uh, uh, very well uh, even at the room temperature. Electrical insulators are uh, the materials which does not allow to pass electrical current uh, in normal conditions. So the reason behind this is they are the free the free electron density in an electrical insulator is pretty much lower. Uh, the electrical semiconductors uh, behaves uh, uh, in between these uh, electrical conductors and electrical insulators. So there are some amount of free electrons in semiconductors at room temperature. So if we analyze uh, the variation of uh, electrical resistance uh, with temperature, temperature denoted by theta, if we increase temperature, uh, simultaneously there will be two, uh, two results. Uh, 
big collisions between electrons and atoms and ions and electrons will be higher. So the colli collisions will be higher and the, uh, again uh, if we increase the temperature uh, some electrons can take the energy and come out from the atoms so the free electron density will be higher. Free electrons, free electrons will be higher. So the collisions as a result, the collisions will be higher, free electrons will be higher. So if in, uh, when increasing collisions, uh, it affects to resist resistance uh, as an increment. So resistance will be increased and if uh, the free uh, uh, increment of free electrons affects resistivity, resistivity in negative negatively so the resistivity will be lowered. So increase in temperature, uh, increase in temperature affects two materials in uh, both ways, uh, in two ways resistivity will be higher, resistivity will be lower. lower. So if we take conductors, uh, if we take conductors, conductors uh, all already have uh, a huge number of uh, huge number of uh, free electrons even at the room temperatures so uh, a small increment of uh, free electrons will not be considered for conductors so co for for conductors the increment of collisions will be dominant so for conductors uh, with temperature uh, the resistivity will be higher. Uh, if we take insulators uh, at room temperature there is negligible amount of uh, free electrons. So uh, the increment of free electrons will be dominant for insulators. So for insulators the increment of free electrons will be dominant hence as a result uh, for insulators, the resistivity will be lower. Insulators. So, uh, for when we increase temperature, uh, for conductors, the resistivity will be increased. For insulators, resistivity will be decreased. So, if we uh, if we draw diagrams uh, with respect to temperature, uh, sorry, uh, so uh, this is temperature, uh, and this is. Uh, resistance or or resistivity this is uh, resistance or resistivity and uh, this is for conductors uh, this is for insulators so as we talked before uh, for resistance with temperature the resistivity resistance will be increased for insulators with temperature the resistance will be decreased so this is how the variation happens so with these diagrams today's lessons comes to the end so hope you enjoy the video if you like this video please hit the like button and if you wish to watch more videos please consider subscribing and thanks for watching uh, see you next time